Mental breakdowns are never fun, especially when there are millions of cameras capturing every terrible moment. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate. I'm Dana. And these are the top 10 worst celebrity mental breakdowns caught on camera. Number 10, Amanda Bynes. Amanda got her lucky break on the Nickelodeon sketch series All That. It was essentially just the Nickelodeon version of the late night sketch show Saturday Night Live. It sported a stellar cast, including current SNL cast member Kenan Thompson, as well as Drake Bell and Lori Beth Denberg. Eventually, the producer decided to offer Amanda her own series, and her success only grew from there. The Amanda Bynes show became one of Nickelodeon's most watched series, and she was picked up by several studios to star in non-Nickelodeon projects like She's the Man, Easy A, and all that jazz. Amanda took a hiatus, however, in 2013 following a very public mental breakdown. In 2018, she told fans exactly what caused that breakdown. According to Amanda, she became addicted to the devil's lettuce at a very young age. And while it wasn't an addiction at first, with more roles came more pressure and the need to find a new way to cope. This event eventually led her to more drastic substances. She also believed that she wasn't pretty enough anymore to be in films, even taking Adderall as a way to help her stay skinny. In 2013, Amanda posted a series of bizarre tweets where she seemed to be insulting almost everything and everyone that she could think of. Like she called the former president Barack Obama's wife ugly, clearly referencing a character from the Amanda Bynes show, but still. She was arrested and placed under psychiatric hold as she was accused of several hit and run incidents as well and was officially charged with reckless endangerment and criminal possession of of uh, herbs and spices. Her parents then placed her under a conservatorship until 2022 when she stood in front of a judge healthier and better than ever. So happy ending to this one. And at number nine, we've got Nick Cage. If you've spent more than one day on Earth, you know who Nick Cage is. He starred in roughly 115 movies, and some of his biggest ones include Ghost Rider, National Treasure, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, and his most recent movie, the end season of The Witch. What some of you may not know is that in 2020, he was arrested for public intoxication, as well as disturbing the peace as he had a loud argument with his wife in public. He absolutely lost his cool and was even accused of S.A. in the heat of the moment. Thankfully though, he only spent a day or so in a holding cell and was released with an $1,100 bond. 8. Britney Spears As many may know, Britney began a downward spiral health-wise in 2007. After her divorce from Kevin Federline, she not only shaved her head, but she went on a rage-fueled rampage across across the city, taking down anyone in her path. After being swarmed by photographers at a gas station in LA, she went on a rampage wielding an umbrella and swinging it over and over at everybody's cars, attempting to smash their windows, and she actually ended up doing that to one person. She also hurled expletives at anyone and everyone with a camera, eventually launching that umbrella towards the crowd. This was the main incident that landed her in a psychiatric hold, and fun fact, that umbrella used in the incident was auctioned off for $7,000 online, and I can't wait for show up. All of my life savings were spent on that thing. There better be some glass on it still. In at number seven, we have Nicole Polizzi, also known as Snooki. The Jersey Shore is a place of wonder, magic, and will make you your vacation choices. That is what a lot of people were asking themselves after being on a beach with Snooki. She was arrested for disorderly conduct after beachgoers complained that she was too bothersome. Now for some of you who don't know, the Jersey Shore star is notoriously loud and obnoxious, and the fact that she was intoxicated made the entire situation worse. Thankfully for her, the charges were later, later dropped, and she was left with a $500 fine and only two days of community service. Number six. Raven Simone. That's so Raven. That's something that people will be saying over the next few weeks. Thanks to former That's So Raven star Raven Simone sharing with the world that she, in fact, gets mental images of past, present, and future events. On an episode of her and her wife's podcast, the best podcast ever, the host spun a wheel of conversation topics. The wheel landed on the word psychic, and the guest of the episode, Kiki Palmer, said that she believed that they exist, but that she's not one of them at all. Well, Raven was on a show about it, so Simone claims that she gets psychic visions randomly throughout her life, saying that she has an ability to tap into the psychic energy that surrounds everyone. But she also claimed to be able to do things that a lot of people claim to do, like walking into a room and being able to instantly read the vibe or the energy. Yep, she's an X-Man, get this lady some spandex! In fact, her own wife immediately called her out and claimed that she's seen The Matrix too many times. Maybe it was Neo, or maybe it was the several years spent on a sitcom in her early days, but this does make us wonder what was the casting process for that show like? Hello? 
Miss Simone, we'd like to offer you the- Why is she staring at the wall? She's perfect! In at number five, we have Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera is a famous singer-songwriter with an amazingly unique voice and made her mark on the music world industry in the early 2000s and made her mark on the Hollywood police as well. She and her boyfriend were taken into custody for being under the influence while driving. She was arrested as a public safety precaution as she couldn't stand or remember her address. While she was not facing time, her boyfriend at the time almost did. He was let out on a $5,000 bail for intoxicated driving and had fishtailed out onto the road. Aguilera was kept in a holding cell until she was fully sober and could pass her sobriety test. Overall, it wasn't quite a meltdown, but for such a big star to get that drunk in public, there definitely had to be a meltdown in there somewhere. Number four, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay is a Disney star who actually never appeared in a sitcom or a TV show, and she actually got her start at the age of three, starring in over 60 TV spots and commercials for brands like The Gap, Pizza Hut, and Jell-O. She got her big break when Disney casted her to play two roles in that classic film The Parent Trap, playing twin sisters Hallie Parker and Annie James, who randomly meet at a summer camp and discover their parents split them up when they were babies following a divorce. They hatch a plot and get mom and dad back together, and it's delightful. Her career only seemed to rise from there, starring in several cult classics like Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis and Mean Girls as Katie Heron. Unfortunately, her career took a step in the wrong direction when she was arrested in 2007 for driving under the influence of a controlled substance, for which she only served 84 minutes in jail. Yep, minutes. Yep, some people just spend years in jail for less, but Lindsay got a warning. The entire thing was documented by paparazzi and shared with the world, and up until 2022, her career was at an abrupt standstill. But she not only seems to be better mentally speaking, but she's under a new contract with the streaming giant Netflix to release a few rom-com flicks over the next few years, so maybe her and Adam Sandler will make a Netflix multiverse together. I don't know how I feel about that. Following up with number three, we have Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is known to be a very straightforward person. She is very expressive and won't hold back if she's got an issue. This was taken to a whole other level, however. She and Mariah Carey were both American Idol hosts. After one audition, they happened to butt heads. Nicki had said that Mariah was too harsh on one of the contestants, and Mariah responded negatively to that comment, and Nicki pushed her chair backwards and said, maybe I just shouldn't be a host. After this incident, their feud was taken to an entirely new level. Multiple people overheard Nikki threaten to physically harm Mariah with a weapon. After this incident, the team at American Idol hired more security as Carrie didn't feel safe in the workplace. As a retaliation to this, Minaj took to Twitter and said, ironically, there was no camera or mic that picked up the comment, lol, not even the producers believed you. Overall, it caused quite the commotion. Number two, Tom Cruise. Now, it's one thing to be asking people to join your church all the time, whatever, no biggie, but Tom's behavior as a member of society has been very rough to say the least. Following the announcement that he was engaged to Katie Holmes in the early 2000s, Tom appeared on an episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show that has gone down in history as one of the most chaotic TV interviews of all time. From the moment that he walks on stage, he has such a strange energy. He's oddly excited, like he just got told the best news in his entire life. He throws his arms up in the air and then he rubs Oprah's shoulder like she's a lamp and he's trying to summon a genie. He revealed to the audience that the excitement was from his engagement to fellow actor Katie Holmes. Okay, awesome, but can you please stop trying to break Oprah Winfrey? Seriously, Tom jumped on her couch, he grabbed her hands over and over again. She couldn't even get to the questions that she had for him because he was just too chaotic. Eventually, Oprah was like, eh, yeah, whatever, bring a wife out. And the cameras followed Tom as he ran around the studio trying to find her. It looked like a scene from Paranormal Activity. Tom's energy continued to stay at that level of chaos throughout his entire marriage to Katie. And since the divorce, he's just been, he's just nuts. He's just nuts now. And last, but definitely not least, we have Demi Lovato. As most people know, Demi Lovato is known for sharing her opinions about the way the world functions and about how it affects her personally. She was also known to be on drugs. This time, she made a big stink about a frozen yogurt place called The Big Chill, having zero sugar and non-fat options at the front of the store. She complained that they were trying to promote dieting, which doesn't make much sense, because nearly 95% of the population 
Kardashian think that frozen yogurt is a healthier alternative to ice cream. So why would she be complaining about what a lot of society considers diet ice cream, to be promoting sugar free foods as well as diet foods? She was upset because they were displayed at the front of the store. She posted on her Instagram story that they shouldn't be promoting diet culture, especially not at the very front of the store. She finished her story by saying, do better. The company responded to this and they said that they were, oh, they were at the very front so that people who have dietary restrictions wouldn't have to search or feel embarrassed about asking an employee for where a better option was. They also said that it's been like this for the last 36 years and they enjoy catering to their customers' needs. This somehow made the situation worse when Demi went on a tangent about how they should provide a more inviting environment for people with eating disorders. She also compared eating disorders to overdosing, which is also wrong in so many ways. She finished the message by saying, don't make excuses, just do better. This caused an insane amount of backlash towards the former pop star, and she even refused to follow up with comments about her meltdown. She even made a public apology for trying to drag down a small business and stated that it wasn't her intention. After this, many people came out saying how much respect they had lost for Demi and how they couldn't stand her actions. They were receiving secondhand embarrassment from her posts. Many of her followers claimed she should be ashamed of herself and said that she should get a better mindset if she considered sugar-free cookies enabling an eating disorder. After a lot of her fans, as well as the general public, sided with the big chill, she publicly apologized for her actions, saying she doesn't always get things right and just wanted to speak her mind. In the end, the entire thing could have been avoided if she wasn't so woke about sugar-free cookies. Those are the most brutal mental breakdowns ever caught on camera. If we missed any good ones, let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoy our content and want to see more, it means a lot to us here at the channel. Thank you for stopping to be on the screen and we will see you next time.